Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into getting started with Bardeen. Bardeen is your AI automation tool that is a game changer when it comes to automating repetitive tasks. Throughout this video, we're gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process in order for you to learn how to run a plain book using Bardeen. Will there be getting rid of repetitive research, marketing, or sales tasks? Bardeen is the exact AI agent for you. You can get started for free simply by going to bardeen.ai and navigating to the Chrome extension store where you can easily install the extension. Now, after you install the extension, you can click the extension button here and then go over to the Bardeen AI extension and click on the show and toolbar button. And this will pin this in your extensions. And then after that, you can click on it and open up Bardeen. On the explore page, what you'll see is a myriad of different automations to choose from, whether it be recommendations based on previous automations that you've made or some of our popular and trending automations and other ones that are recommended for you, as well as some new additions and much, much more. This is a great place to try out new automations. And we recommend spending some time here in order to learn more about the different kinds of automations that you can use and try some of them out. Can't find a use case or want to build your own automation? You can check out our magic box which is designed to be your trustworthy AI workflow automator. You can simply describe the workflow you're looking for and it'll generate it in no time. So for example, we could say, send me an email when my meeting is about to start. And then if I click generate, in a moment, it'll create the playbook from scratch for you. And as you can see right here, I can edit this in the builder or save and activate it immediately. Then after saving and activating the playbook, it's set up for me. At the top of your Bardeen app, if you click on Bardeen AI, you'll see that there are a few different items here, like the categorizer, which helps you take context from whatever it is that you're referencing in your automation and give it a category. And then we even have a email writing assistant, which is going to do exactly what it says and is a great tool for helping you write your emails. Also at the top here, you have the ability to make scraper templates, which essentially are Bardeen's functionality to scraping data from web pages. That's one of the main things that we provide as a value here at Bardeen. Inside of my space over here on the left, we have some of the different playbooks that I have created, which essentially, if you think about playbooks, they are automations that you can simply click and then they will run and go through the steps like the ones that you saw in the preview templates of the explore area. As you can see right here, all of my playbooks are saved and I can share them and edit them or check out the details, rename them, duplicate, delete, all of the basic functionality you'd have with any adjustments to those in this three dot bar right here. Then we have auto books. Auto books are automations that are triggered when something happens or on a specific schedule. For example, when an email arrives, you can have an auto book run in order to maybe capture that email, or you can have a recurring event reminding you of something on a certain interval. When it comes to your history and what different playbooks you've had been used prior, we can go to this section right here, which is the activities history, as well as the in progress and the errors. So you can see these are all the different playbook automations that I've had run before. And if any playbooks were in progress, it would show here, as well as there would be errors showing here. If you're stuck on something while using Bardeen, it's really easy to get help. Let me show you how. Just click on the Get Started icon at the bottom right of your screen to open the Help Center. There you'll find all kinds of useful guides, whether you're just starting out, need to scrape data from websites, or want to understand how credits work. It's all there. There's even a knowledge base and announcements section. Plus, if you need to, you can send Bardeen an email directly from there. And here's something that's even better. You can ask Bardeen any question on your mind. Let me show you. I'll just ask, how do I scrape Facebook group members? And just like that, Bardeen gives me an answer in seconds with a link to a pre-built playbook I can use. It's really that simple. It's really easy to get connected with applications, which are the crux of how it works here. You're essentially combining different applications and steps in a playbook in order for those automations to do the things you want. So if you notice right here, I have a bunch of applications already added, and it's a very intuitive process to have those applications be added to your playbooks. Essentially, there's gonna be prompts as you're setting up playbooks, but you'll notice that they all kind of sit here and you have the ability to show more or less of them and show what exactly is being utilized for each application by clicking on them. 
So you can see I have a couple ChatGPT modules, I have a couple Gmail ones, Airtable, and it does limit out here on the top bar. And if you wanna just see more of them, you can click Google Sheets right here. And you'll notice as I click, it selects more or less. It's essentially a toggling system where if I click on one and then another, it adds, it doesn't just switch. And I can toggle as many as I want to specify. And if I toggle none of them, all of them will show. Last but not least, if I wanna change sorting, this is essentially by last modified. I can do it by A to Z, name sorting, the last used option here is great. Date added is another great option. All of these essentially just keep it a little bit more organized for you. If you wanna set up more apps, it is very simple. You can go to settings right here, and then in the back end, you'll see all of my connected apps. And if I wanna connect another one or remove the ones I have, I'd interact with this section. So for example, I really wanna connect my Google Drive. So all I have to do is click connect and go through the Google authentication and then press continue. As you can see right here, now my Google Drive has been added to my Bardeen account. You also in settings can change your subscription and choose to upgrade it or adjust it, as well as make changes to your account. So let's go to the Explorer page to set up our first playbook. So I'm gonna scroll through this area and find something that I find interesting. And what's really cool about this is if I wanna find specific ones, I can actually click this drop down and then search connected apps. So like Google Sheets, for example. And if I use Google Sheets often, I could always favorite it. As you can see, I can toggle on or off the favorites and it pops up to the favorited section. So say I wanted to save Zillow property to Google Sheets, I can click on that. So I'm gonna create a Google Sheet with the name, property listing, and it's gonna remember my inputs every time if I choose so. And then I can press save to my playbooks and run or run without saving. I'm gonna press save to my playbooks. And from there, I'm gonna just grab a URL for a Zillow listing and I put it right in there. And after pressing view on this, boom, you'll notice that it captured the price, the location, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. And I can go through a bunch of Zillow listings and easily add this to my account with minimal effort. And that's the amazing power of Bardeen. If I wanna click on it again, I can absolutely do that. And then this time I can find the property listing, Google Sheet, press remember inputs, and then click save and run playbook. And then from there, whatever Zillow listing I'm on, it'll scrape. I can either download it as a CSV, view it again, or download it as a PDF or any of these other file types. It added it right in the Google Sheet and it's just that simple. Also, if you're looking to invite new team members to Bardeen, make sure you check out the team space option where you can click on this and invite any of your fellow team members. And from there, you'll actually receive 500 credits for each accepted invite. So I hope this helps you get started with Bardeen. And if you wanna learn more about how our product works, make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.